Our intervention uses a bacteria called Wolbachia. This is a naturally occurring bacteria that exists in lots of insects. We've introduced it into the mosquito that transmits dengue. And when the mosquito has Wolbachia in it, it can no longer uh, transmit viruses, including dengue, between humans. What's exciting about the results that you've found? What's so exciting is that at the end of a three-year trial, we have found that the areas of Jogjakarta City in Indonesia, where we released these Wolbachia-carrying mosquitoes, had 77% less dengue and 86% less hospitalizations for dengue than the areas of the city that didn't have this intervention. So that's a, a huge health benefit, obviously, for the population of Jogjakarta City, but also the other uh, cities where we can deploy this intervention. And how does this method compare to other approaches which aim to control mosquito populations? Yeah, so the difference here is that we're not trying to kill the mosquitoes. Uh, we are looking to replace the mosquito population with this uh, safe mosquitoes that carry Wolbachia. The great benefit of this is that it doesn't require ongoing maintenance. You don't have to come back and do this year on year. It takes a matter of months to release these mosquitoes. Once they are there, they dominate in the mosquito population and they stay that way for years to come. We've seen up to 10 years since the first releases of this intervention in Queensland, uh, you still find most of the mosquitoes there carry Wolbachia. So it's highly durable and therefore cost effective compared to the other methods. How has the program been received by the community? Presumably this is a key factor in determining the program's success. Absolutely. You know, we're asking people to not kill mosquitoes as have been told their whole life, but to allow us to come in and release mosquitoes. So it's counterintuitive. And that's why engagement with the community, really building their understanding and support has been uh, the first step in the project in Indonesia and everywhere we've worked. And what we've found is that once you build trust with honesty and understanding, you know, the communities want us to deploy. They want us in their neighbourhood and they become our strongest supporters. And do you think dengue can be eradicated in Jogjakarta and even beyond? We're very hopeful. So we think the results of this trial actually represent a minimum estimate of the impact because half the city still didn't have wool back here and, you know, people move between areas. Now, off the back of these promising results, the team in Jogjakarta has gone in and released throughout the whole city and expanded into the districts outside of Jogjakarta city. So by this time next year, there'll be two and a half million people protected by Wolbachia. And that's where we really have an opportunity to see potential elimination in the years that follow. We're very optimistic that that can be the case. And what about further down the track? Where else do you think this program might be extended to? Yeah, we're already working in 11 countries at the moment in um, the Pacific, in Asia and in Latin America. Uh, some of the places we're working already are uh, cities of a million or two million people in Brazil and Colombia, for example. So there's great potential now off the back of these results to scale up rapidly and really translate this into maximum public health benefit in as many countries as possible. Half the world's population is living in areas at risk of dengue, so the need is huge. And how else can the findings be applied? Are there other diseases that could possibly also be prevented in a similar way? Absolutely. So the really neat thing is this can work against other viruses transmitted by the same mosquito. So that's Zika, which many people will have heard of, chikungunya, yellow fever in some parts of the world are all transmitted by this same mosquito. And laboratory studies show it works equally well against all of those viruses. So where those uh, diseases are a big problem, we can have one intervention that can really control multiple diseases at once. That's very exciting. It really is. Just finally, you talked about scaling up the program. How cost effective is it? Yeah, so at the moment, uh, it, we're looking at less than $10 per person protected, but we're really working on getting that down to a few dollars or even a dollar per person. Um, the benefits that come from preventing this disease far outweigh that cost. So independent studies have found that it's likely to be cost saving for every dollar you invest. You uh, recoup two to three dollars in uh, healthcare costs and uh, productivity that's not lost due to dengue. Well, congratulations. It really is exciting work. Thanks so much for sharing the findings with us, Dr Katie Anders.
My pleasure. Thank you.